Hello and welcome to the next part in the Python Control Structures course from How to Code Well. My name is Peter Fisher and in today's tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how you can loop over a dictionary using a for loop. Now previously we looped over a list and we enumerated over that list which means that we can get the index and the value. Now in this tutorial we're going to use a dictionary instead of a list. And if you've seen my Python beginners course, you'll know that a dictionary is keyed by a string, whereas this is a list and this is indexed numerically. So that's zero, one and two. So let's go ahead and remove this and let's change that to a dictionary. So with a dictionary, we have curly braces and we're just going to create the first key. And this key is just going to be name. Its value is going to be Peter and then Fisher, of course, just use your own name. And then we're going to have a comma and another key. This one is message. And the message we're going to say is hello. Okay, so we've created our dictionary. Once we've created our dictionary, we can now loop over that dictionary, pulling out both the key and its value. So here on line three, where we're looping over the index the value within an enumeration of x, this actually won't work because we're not enumerating over x anymore. x is no longer a list and therefore we have to treat it as a dictionary. So what we need to do is just remove some of this. We don't need to find the index because in fact a dictionary doesn't have an index, it has a key. So let's remove that. We're also going to remove this here. And also what I need to do is remove the enumeration. Okay, so for value in, and that's just going to be X, we're just going to set this. So print value is, and then the value, we're just gonna remove that. There's no need for that at the moment, like so. So what we're doing is we're looping through each key within this dictionary. So if I was to run this, let's just save that and then run the file in the terminal. There we go. We have value is message and value is name. But hang on a minute. This is message. This is name. This isn't the actual values. These are the keys. Well, like I said before, we're looping through the keys within this dictionary. So where we've got for value in X, what we need to do is for key in X, let's change that to be key. Let's change that to be key as well. Let's save that, run this again, and we should get the correct response. So key is message and key is name. Okay, so that's how you can get the keys from this dictionary. Well, you can do this by printing out the associated value, which is keyed in X. If that didn't make sense, just bear with me because I'll demonstrate that in just a second. Let's go ahead and print out another string. So let's go plus and then the value is, now we need to do a plus because we're going to concatenate that to the value associated to the key of X. So we have X and what we're going to do is find the key that we're in and we're going to print out its value. So we need to have square brackets and then we're going to put in a key because that is the key var variable. And the key variable in this case is either going to be name or message. And therefore X and then square bracket key, close square bracket is going to get the value associated to the key of X. Let's go and save that and let's go and run this command. Okay, so we have key is message, the value is hello. The key is name and the value is Peter Fisher. So that's how we can loop over dictionaries in Python. Now in the next part of this course, we're going to be focusing on if statements. And I know I've dealt with if statements before in this course and also in the beginners Python course, but what I'm going to do is go into far more depth about if statements in Python. So do subscribe to pick that up. Thanks ever so much for watching. Happy coding everyone. I'll see you again soon. Cheers, bye.